It's a really important one. Set proper expectations for everybody in here for your reps. Or how can a dealership maximize a third party provider rep? And honestly, you can't speak for anybody else, but since you're the captain of your ship at Cars Direct, if I'm a dealer, what should I really expect from my Cars Direct rep? Because I gotta tell you, a lot of dealers hate like they, these reps that come in and just yep. sell them shit and just disappear. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it's the same for everyone because I have employees who work for other companies, right? And we all work together, as I said, so we all know what's going on. The reality is what we find in our industry is dealers are quick to sign up for something and then nothing for three or four months. They really don't even want to partner with you for three or four months. And then three or four months later, they'll usually figure out, hey, that didn't work and I want to cancel it. And then you'll try something else. That's the other thing that you really should stop doing, this. And that happens over and over and over again because everyone needs leads, right? So what you do is say, okay, I'll try you, I'll try you, I'll try you. My, I have an inside sales team as well. I have feet on the ground, about 45 reps outside, and I have about 45 inside. My inside guys literally call dealers and say, okay, you know that report you can sort all your providers by? Sort it. There's got to be someone at the bottom. Get rid of them and try me. That's their sales pitch. <laughs> right? Yeah. And it comes, okay, fine, you're right. I'm spending some money. I'll get that. It can't hurt. Right? And that, by and large, is the mental mentality in the industry. Your jobs are to make sure your people have people to talk to, so you spend money, right? Newspaper, radio, TV, internet, everything. And you give them people, and then you say, well, what happened? Why didn't we sell any cars? Um, you should require your people to come in and sit with you if you're paying them money. And you should say, show me the value of what you did for me. There are some people, some companies, who are very creative at it. Um, and it should be real value. And the real value should tie to whatever your goals are. So when you sign a contract with somebody, you should say to them, this is what my goals are. My goals are 12% closing ratio and $342 cost per sale. And I will pay you whatever I have to pay you to make those numbers. And then when they come back and sit down with you the next time, don't care who they are, cars direct, trader, anybody, right? You can actually expect value from these people, even if they're the biggest and best in the industry and they can charge you whatever they want. You can expect value, but you have to tie it back to where you started with. So when they come back and sit with you, week one, you're not going to know that information, but you can talk about the leads. Week two, week three, week four. At the end of week four, you can sit down with them and say, this is what I got from you. Now, going back to where I started earlier, and most people don't realize this at your store, our average time to sell a car on the 150,000 cars we've sold is seven days. Okay, It took us seven days from starting talking with that customer all the way to work ourselves through the trade-in, through the financing, and everything else, get them a payment, get them to a dealership. I guarantee you, your sales reps are trying to sell a car that day. Or if you have appointment setters, they're trying to set an appointment that day, and then that customer's forgotten. All of us offer training, all the companies, and you should take them up on that as well, too. If you're paying them money, they should pay <laughs> you. Mm. Or you can pay Sean. <laughs>